MAP stands for Mastery Advancement Pilot Program. And that just passed the House today and it's headed to the Senate, and actually it's headed to the Governor. And there's every indication that he will sign it. What MAP is, or what it will do, is it will allow students beginning in elementary school to challenge the curriculum and move ahead at their own speed. So what it will do is it will really change the way uh, in time students and parents look at education. Instead of the current system right now where they come into a class, first day of school, and the teacher basically says sit still until I give you an assignment. When you get done with the assignment, sit still until I give you another one. <laughs> Which takes away uh, a student's desires you know, to learn. It takes a, uh, they become passive re receptors of public education system. What this bill will do is will, it will allow students to come to school and say, what do I need to learn in this class? And if I can prove to you I already know it, or I'll learn it as quick as I can, I can test out and I'll move on to the next class. So students and parents will start looking at public education different. They'll start saying, how can I use this system to my best advantage? So that's the biggest thing on, uh, on what the MAP proposal really will do. Uh, in the end, uh, it will save, save the state some money, and it will allow uh, students who want to to get a year or two of college education completed before they leave high school. Do you think it, it's a pretty innovative program? Do you think it'll take a lot of outside the box thinking from from students, parents, and educators to make it happen, or do you think they'll be able to to deal with it as is? I don't think it will take a lot of out, outside the box simply because most of the main po uh, points of the proposal are currently being done. Mm -hmm. You can challenge classes now, though it's not widely known you can do that. Uh, you can graduate early now, though there's no incentive to do it, so people don't. Mm -hmm. And you can take college level classes now in high school. So it fits, the, the real and innovative thing is going into the elementary level and, and saying, what are we trying to teach there? Can we provide some way for students to, to move ahead? Uh, as after the bill, bill is signed by the governor, then the Department of Education has asked me to be participate in, in starting to write the rules. Because the bill has a general outline of, of what, will, what the program will look like. The rules will get into more specifics. And one of the things that I'm going to write into the rules, and hopefully other people will agree with me, because <laughs> you know I can suggest things, but I'm just one of many people, mm -hmm. is uh, before you can start advancing through the system, you need to be able to be an independent reader. Mm -hmm. And uh, one way to judge that is if a student, so we're talking about first, second, third, fourth grader, whenever the the student decides he wants to move ahead faster. Mm -hmm. Can he read the front page of the newspaper? I think that's what the what the the, the uh, test should be. Mm -hmm. Can you read the front page of the newspaper? I've been told it's been written at a sixth grade level. So, you know, it's I, I have actually have a granddaughter who is a first grader, mm -hmm. and she uh, struggles a little bit, but she can read the front page of the newspaper. So I don't think this is too high of a hurdle. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> and if you can read, then then you can probably become a self, you know, self-engaged, self-motivated learner. If you can't read, you're really hampered. So that's that to me is the number one priority. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to read, and from there it'll go on. And who else is going to be uh, aiding in the process of writing rules? Is is Representative Durst, who was also a co-sponsor of the bill, or or? Is it people from the Department of Education? I, I will sit down and, and put an outline for the rules. Then I will run that past Representative Durst, because mm -hmm. he has some pretty good ideas. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll take that to uh, Tom Luna's office, and we'll just go from there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And uh, I guess one final question. Now that it's fully passed both houses of, of the legislature, is there any sense of victory that you feel? I mean, I know it still has to be signed by the governor, but do you feel like a sense of accomplishment with, with this? Well, yes, obviously. You know, I've never gotten a piece of legislation that I have written 
mm -hmm. and then past both houses. Mm -hmm. So this is a first for me, and it does feel feel uh, like a sense of accomplishment. However, nothing has changed yet. Mm -hmm. Until we go out and we uh, talk to school districts and get people to come on board for the pilot, get the rules in place, and start having parents and students and teachers really understanding how this can benefit them, mm -hmm. really haven't accomplished anything yet. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, sir. <laughs>